welcome to episode 7 of the Lake Farm Hilltop. In the world of cyberpunk, there is a technically illegal but actually tolerated sport of street and off-road motor racing, in which there are virtually no safety rules. Indeed, shooting at opponents with firearms is an accepted part of the game. Heavily modified vehicles are built for this sport, and those mo modifications may include armor. In the last episode, we looked at the stock Thornton Mackinac, a huge, ugly, gutless barge of a pickup. This time, we'll look at a highly customized variant of the same thing, the Beast. Claire Russell, a character you will meet, is a skilled mechanic who has, with her late husband, built and campaigned the beast in these races over several years, and who approaches you to be her driver for the 2077 season. So that's the background. The beast itself is clearly based on the Mackinac, it has the same overall dimensions and general shape. Although its suspension is raised, it has the same wheels as the stock version. Generally, it has many of the features of a Nomad customization, but interestingly, it has glass windows rather than crystal dome. The interior is clearly based on and not greatly changed from the stock model. Although it does have the same steering wheel as the Nomad Custom cars. Interesting to note that as a racing special, this appears to have just conventional seatbelts. It's also interesting to note that you actually never see seatbelts used. Claire is very proud of the work on the engine and urges to use the beast in street as well as off-road races. But actually the performance is not very special. I do think the handling is a little better than the stock map in all, but not usually so. It's still quite easy to lose control. The long travel suspension, although bouncy, seems well set up, and there isn't excessive body roll. When the thing does tip, the wheels on the inside of the bend are lifted clear of the ground, implying that the anti-roll bars are doing their work. Again, like the stock Mackinac, this climbs slowly. And again, like a stock Mackinac, one can go off-road. But we get to the top of the end. Bouncy. He's very bouncy. This is not a vehicle I have any worries taking across over the desert. But, again, sorry. Even here, it won't compete with the Japanese. Overall rating? Eh. If you've given it, take it. But I wouldn't seek it out. <laughs> 